Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number seven of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this episode, I'm gonna be going over how to work with layers. Now, layers are, have always been in Adobe Illustrator. It's probably one of the first things I learned back in like 2001. Um, yeah, right, exactly. I'm showing some age there. But layers will help you organize and you know be more efficient with the designs that you're doing. Now, you can use layers with anything from logos to, to print designs. Um, but I found personally, as I have gotten better over time and faster with the program, that I do not use layers for every single project. In fact, I, I don't use layers really at all much anymore. And in the next episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock and lock elements uh, to really help streamline your work and, and, and be more efficient. So that's gonna that's a big reason why I don't use layers anymore. But this is the episode where we're gonna talk about layers because you still need to use them. And what better way to show you layers than to show you how I set up layers for all the thumbnails in this new video series. But first, I'm going to start a new document, show you the real basics of layers. Then I'm going to jump back in here and show you how I did it on my thumbnails. I'm going to start a new document right now. And I'm going to come up into the layers panel. I'm actually going to pull it out here for now to make it easier for everybody. And I'm going to come up into window and layers. That's where you want to go if you do not see the layers panel. You want to come up here, make sure that's checked, and then, and then obviously follow along. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of shapes. I'm going to make an ellipse. All right, I'm going to make a star. And then I'm going to make a nice little rectangle. Okay. And right now these are actually outlined with a black stroke. So I'm going to come into here in my stroke and I'm going to fill it with none. I'm going to take that stroke off. So if I click off, you don't see these shapes anymore. They're basically, there's, you know, they're not there technically. So when I highlight them, you're going to notice they all turn blue. Now, why are they turning blue? The reason they're turning blue is because it is on layer one. Okay. Layer one is designated as a blue layer. Now, every element that is on layer one will be blue. So we're going to double click this and we're going to rename layer one shapes for now. We're going to change the color, say to green, and we're going to hit OK. And you're going to notice that my three shapes changed color. Now, this is, like I said, these are just guides for the shapes, where they are or what elements are a part of that, that layer. Now, these, this green that or that blue will not print. It's just, like I said, it's a guide. It's important to know that. Now, you can come into here into the layer and you can, I'm going to actually fill it with a color so you can see I'm going to put like a, uh, put like a green in there for now. You're going to see that if I click this eye, it's going to obviously turn it off. It's if because if when you hover over it, it says toggles visibility. There's also a lock. All right. You can lock the layer. You can lock it. And guess what? You see that circle with the line through it? It's not going to let me click and move any of this stuff, which is really good because if you have certain elements. And I'm going to show you on my thumbs, my thumbnails that are not going to move. You just want to lock that layer so you don't accidentally interfere with that layer or that or the elements on that layer. So you can kind of just set it and forget it for the for the rest of the design. Um, you can come in here and hit the drop down. You're going to see this certain things. It's showing you that's basically all the stuff that is is within this layer. So you can turn individual elements on and off. Um, I personally, when I'm working, I never really have to get into here. Uh, not not often, but uh, it's just something to know that it is there. Uh, if we come down here, uh, the main thing is creating a new layer and throwing a layer out. So we're gonna create a new layer and you're gonna see the layer is called layer two. And it went on top of the layer that we called shapes. Now that is actually a red layer. We're gonna double click, you're gonna see it's light red. We're gonna hit okay. And we can click a layer, hold down and we can move it. You're gonna see we can rearrange layers, all right? We're gonna actually make one more layer. It's gonna actually be called layer three. I'm gonna put it to the top. Okay, I'm gonna double click, I'm gonna turn it blue. So we have three different layers with three different colors. And what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to move individual elements to different layers very easily. Now, if I take this rectangle, okay, you're gonna see, again, it is green and it has that green outline on it. You're gonna see this little box right here. And if I roll over, it says indicates selected art. Okay, very cool, right? We're gonna click this green 
and we're going to hold it down and we're going to drag it up to the red layer or layer two. Now you're going to notice that all of a sudden that element has a red outline. That is because it is no longer on layer one. It is on layer two. You know what? Just to make this really simple, I'm going to name this layer one without all the caps. Layer one. Cool. All right. So we got one, two and three much easier. We're going to come up into the star and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to pull it to layer three. So if I select all three of these, you're going to see a red outline, a blue outline and a green outline. OK, what I'm now going to do is I am going to actually I'm going to take these. I'm going to hit option click. I'm just going showing you this for reference. You can do it if you'd like. I'm going to copy these over. OK. This little circle right here, if you roll over, it says click to target, all right? And then you can drag and move appearance. Basically what that's gonna do is, if you have a, a document with a bunch of things on different layers, you can click this circle and it'll highlight every element on that layer and you can pull it to another layer. So you can click down right here and we're gonna pull this all to layer two. You're gonna notice now the three circles, the ellipses are now red. So. What do you think is going to happen if I select this right here? All right, we're going to have the three circles and the original three rectangles that we have because it's all on that one layer. To show you how this works again, because repetition is how you understand it better, we're going to click this now because we have all the red selected and we're going to pull it to layer three. And now everything is on layer three. If I hit the eye, we're going to turn off basically everything. Okay. You can come into individual elements and see obviously the star. Uh, you know what? Let's highlight the star and this ellipse. We can take this and pull it to layer two for now. Okay. So now when we turn off layer three, see what happens? Those remain and those are on layer two. You can now hide those. Now there's a few more options in here. These are basic options I, I don't use very often. But if you highlight an element and you hit the little magnifying glass right here, it's going to locate the object. It's basically showing you where it is at, it, it, below the within the folder that, you know, I guess the subfolder we will call it. Uh, the sub layer, excuse me. Um, now we can select multiple layers, all right? And we can click on the layer, excuse me, click on an element. And then when you're on the layer, you're going to see that you can make or release a clipping mask. So there's another tutorial coming up about clipping masks, but very quickly, you can make a clipping mask by having the two elements on top of each other and have the one clip into the other by simply hitting that button but that's not what i'm going to go over in this tutorial and lastly you can come into here and create a new sub layer all right within that layer pretty cool right so there's a lot of things to play around with let me jump back into my thumbnails and i'll show you how i built everything on mine now for the purpose of this tutorial i actually changed some of the colors on my layers uh, I actually had everything just orange and black, but I just wanted to kind of just show you how some of these things work. You're going to notice my background layer is locked. I'm going to unlock it right now, and I'm going to click that button. Remember, clicks to target everything on that layer. We're going to target everything on that layer, and you're going to see everything in magenta lights up. Okay? I can turn this layer off, and you're going to see all half of this stuff basically dif disappear. And there's a reason why I put certain things on certain... Um, layers because you know I, the background i'm going to hit lock i'm not going to touch any of those elements the only thing i'm really going to touch on this if you if you notice i'm not going to change the word adobe illustrator cc i'm not going to change the ai logo i'm not going to change this box or this box i'm really only changing working with layers the title of each and i'm changing the numbers up here okay so if you're going to see um actually no you know this funny this layer 12 I accidentally put in here when I was planning this, uh, so I threw that out. Um, let me back up a second. To throw out a layer, you can either click the layer and click the trash can, or you can click and drag into there. Um, back up again, you can even click and drag into a new layer. See how that works? So, uh, you know, you can either click things or click and drag into other things. The next one says episode number box. So if I turn this off, you're going to see there's the number box right there. Uh, the reason I, I put it on its own layer, I believe, was because of, let's see, if I take what's on here and I pull it to the background layer. Um, actually, I can leave it on the background layer. I guess I just did that for the purpose of this tutorial. So let me throw that out for now. And you're going to see now that I have the background. I'm going to change that to black. So I'm going to go from magenta to black. 
because I want the colors all to be in black. And I'm going to lock it because I'm not changing that background anymore. You're going to notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'd like you to guess real quick what is on those seven layers. All right. So do you know what is on, on those seven layers? Episode one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. On the top here is, I just named it top AI logo, but there are a few things up here. If I click this button here, you're going to notice that there are certain boxes. Uh, it's actually, if I turn this off, you're going to see what disappears is what obviously was on there. And I wanted that to be on the top because obviously the AI logo, I want to be over this element right here. If I pull this up here, this element, and I drag it into there, it's going to be on top of the AI logo. Look how stupid that looks. So I'm going to hit Command Z to back up, and I'm going to lock this top layer. And for episode eight, all right, basically what I would do is I would click this and hold it down, and I would drag it into a new layer. I would now turn off layer seven. I would double click here, just put a number eight. I'm going to keep it the same orange and hit OK. All right, and I would delete this. I would come into here. I would obviously change this, this, and this because it's the only things I can actually change. You're going to notice that I cannot highlight any of this other stuff, which is great because it's all locked. All right, same thing with this. And now anything, if I put a box on here, so let's put a uh, let's put a nice little star. I'm going to fill it with whatever color we want. I'm going to drag it over to this one. You're going to notice that if I click this, what do you think is going to happen? Everything on this layer is going to highlight the episode eight, the star, and the number eight. All right. So I believe I covered everything with layers. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you know what you thought of this video, obviously what you learned about layers that you may not know before. Uh, but like I said, layers are something that I use, you know, less frequently than I used to because of the next video, you're going to learn how to unlock and lock elements. Uh, but thanks for tuning into this series. If you like what you learned again, like this, subscribe to my channel and share this video out. And I will see you all for the next video, episode number eight. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.